Today we have another unboxing for you and I have in front of me the X Bloom Studio. This is an automatic pour over dripper and I think it's going to be pretty great from what I've heard. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the unboxing by moving this over onto my lap. So it looks like we have quite the few accessories on top here. First off, we have a nice bag of coffee beans, which I'll explain that in just a moment. We have some instructions here. The dripper with some filters. Just put that right over to the side here. Some more instructions with, ooh, looks like it comes with some third wave water packets for the best tasting water for your coffee. Part of the machine is right here. The catch cup is right here. There's a lot of stuff when it comes to this. A brush. I really appreciate how stuff comes with brushes. You can never have too many brushes to clean up your coffee gear and the equipment that you have. A simple power cable. This power cable looks very, very short, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but just an observation. Some padded foaming. In here we have the X Bloom itself. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. And there we have it, the X Bloom Studio. We're gonna go ahead and put some of these features together here. I absolutely hate things like this because that just added a ton of residue that I'm now going to have to get off on that. We're going to slide that in there. It has a nice satisfying magnetic holder there and we're going to put that I believe like that. I think I, oh I made a little mistake here. This is for your own style dripper. You actually just simply put that right there and it will slide this over in the machine when it's on and it will grind directly into it. So what I have here is I have this bag of X Bloom pods that it came with and X Bloom has partnered with a few different types of coffee roasters. So. With your starter pack, you get some freshly roasted beans and a little card that goes with it. This card has a little chip on the edge of it, and this chip goes right here. And what it will do is it'll find the proper grind size for your coffee that you've gotten. You will simply, I gotta tilt this over just a little bit here. Let's go ahead and talk about what's on top here. On top we have the X Bloom everything. We're getting there. We have a very tall, skinny water tank. This is incredibly small, it seems like. From what I've heard, you can get about two cups out of this. And this is single serve cups, what is what I'm referring to with this. And then on this side here you have a built-in grinder. So you simply just slide this top piece here pour your beans in and it will grind for you. You can adjust the grind settings on this machine. On this section here, on the right front right side of it, you can scan this little chip when you order these coffee pods from X Bloom and you will pour, rip off the top, pour it in here. It'll grind directly in there and once you grind in there, it will then move this filter it'll grind directly into this filter and then it will slide automatically underneath of the dripper here so what this piece is is this is goes inside there and then you put your little filter on top of that and it will grind directly into that and you'll throw it away this has a 15 grams of coffee in there 
I wonder if it has a roast date anywhere on here. Let's take a look here. June 12th is when this was roasted and I'm currently filming this on July 19th. So this is about a month old coffee, but nevertheless, it at least includes it. It also comes with this little catch cup here, which magnetizes here to use the built-in grinder. Additionally to all of these features that we already have talked about here, we have one other one, two other ones actually. One of them, one of them is a built-in scale on the drip tray. So we have a drip tray here, and this is, I was wondering about this, this is a two-piece drip tray. So if you get a little spillage here, you have a very shallow drip tray to use. But this sits on top of a scale that is apparently very fast and very accurate. So in a sense, you can weigh your coffee beans if you are using your own whole beans and not their pod. You can weigh your coffee beans, grind directly into the... You can grind directly into the brewer, and then automatically the brewer will slide from here over to this place right here where it will pour the water over in a pour over like spec so you can utilize this to weigh your coffee pour your coffee in use the built-in grinder and then automatically have a drip for you so it's very very user friendly when it comes to that it's got three tactile knobs that i have no idea what they do right now because i've yet to actually use this machine and on the back of it you have your power spot your power spot and then you also have a little water inlay here and this water inlay allows for you to pump in a five gallon bucket of water or a gallon bucket of water for you to not have to fill this tank near as much and it looks like on the inside of this I'm assuming all of these are used a little bit to test out things but you can definitely see I think a little bit of water residue on the inside of mine. Uh, it did come a little wet, but it is what it is. Anyway, Xbloom did send me this for a review, and there was no money exchanged on this, and I reached out to them to review this. Also, what is coming is a review over the fellow Aiden, and I will be reviewing this as I will be comparing both of these machines back to back in september ish when i get that fellow aiden some of the differences that i can already see in this one this one is about 140 dollars more than the aiden coming in about 500 dollars. this one does have a built-in grinder and this does have a built-in scale and it does have that water inlay as well however this can only do hot coffee the fellow aiden can do cold brew and this one is only single serve, meaning that you can't do a batch brew. I think the fellow Aiden can do about 50 ounces of water um, or 50 ounces of coffee at a time. So there is that. One of the things that I'm slightly disappointed at, and maybe I missed it somewhere in here, is I was hoping that there would at least be like a piece of rubber piping in order to go ahead and put this in a bucket right now. You actually don't need a pump to it and it actually says you're not supposed to use a pump unless you buy a special piece that they sell online so you don't put too much pressure in the machine. So in other words, this sucks up water out of its separate reservoir. However, it does not come with that additional piece and you'll have to purchase that little silicone tubing to do that online somewhere. But overall, this feels very, very good. This has a nice matte black finish to it so it's gonna look super well on my coffee bar next to my wrapped espresso machine as well as my EG1 by Weber workshops. The buttons feel incredibly nice. This is a little slanted I've noticed and is not flat. I've heard some people put some tape on this in order to flatten this out a little bit and they are working on a fix for this. I have talked to somebody who has brewed extensively with this and is very very good at brewing pour overs himself and he really likes this machine so I'm super intrigued to see what this is going to be like and how we're going to see if we like this but overall it's built well it looks good if you made it this far make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be producing a lot of content on this coming up soon and then I'm also going to be comparing it to the Aiden and reviewing that as soon as I get my hands on it and I think it's going to be a very interesting comparison on those two. So thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or comments on this machine and whether or not you'll be purchasing one for your home. Thanks so much for watching.